What's up? I got you to run over. I fucked up already. Chill too long. Alright. <laughs> okay, Alright, so. We welcome to that, you know, my boy Leon here. Yeah. AKA Macho Man Hood. Bill Lord. Old <laughs> <the> World. <laughs> How y'all doing? My B spot. You know what it is. MOE, LIP Mall, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole mile, you know what I'm saying? This the hood. Shout out to South Memphis. Shout out to E Mail and North Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my people. You know me. Shout out to you, you know what I'm saying? So long as you live. <laughs> yeah, for real. So, yeah, man. What brings you in here today, man? You know what I'm saying? I bring you in here today. I want to ask you a few questions about your rap career, if that's all right. For sure, for sure. All right. So, I'm going to start off with, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you, what, where you start? What, what, get you, what got you started in the rap career? You know, what gave you the motivation to start? Come on, well, so it really started off. The first song I ever wrote was a gospel song, you know what I'm saying? Mom and pops had to bring a nigga up in church, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say track, brought a nigga up in church a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But you know, life takes its course going on. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm really from the mound. I always been mound, you know what I'm saying? My mama moved to South Memphis, over there in the Innisdale Glenview area, so it was like, I was an orange man, South Memphis nigga, you know what I'm saying? Went to Bellevue, went to Rozelle, you know what I'm saying? That way. Went to Hanley, went to uh, Airways for a day. <laughs> Got kicked. So, yeah, man. <laughs> Alright. So, yo. You know, I'm gonna ask you this question right here. I got another question for you, you know what I'm saying? It's like goof ass shit, man. But now, <laughs> what are you passionate about in your work? What is your passion about rap? Just giving a message, you know what I'm saying? Bringing my life, you know what I'm saying? To reality as far as through a TV screen, you know what I'm saying? Progressing from the game and the street life to, you know, going into the movie and the music game and street life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just trying to mind get a check. <laughs> my insecure that bad. Shout out to my brother Frills. people give you I mean what people what people give you a push? Who who gives you a push in this rap career? My my surrounding circle and plus I, I know I know these niggas. Like I know these niggas and I salute these niggas cause shoot they got out, you know what I'm saying? They got out the streets, you know what I'm saying? Making money, securing their bag, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, why not do the same thing? Shoot, they help them motherfuckers eat the best way they can. That's what I want to do. I really want to give back to the community, you know what I'm saying? That's really my legacy. I want to solidify these streets, you know what I'm saying? Just 
Give it back to the people, you know what I'm saying? Showing them, you know what I'm saying? Being a hope, you know what I'm saying, for people. Especially for these kids. So yeah, you gotta everything you do, you gotta be for the kid, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta look out for the kid. No, and nigga, music it just it, it be a positive subliminal message. You know what I'm saying? You can always take some positive. It I I speak on the negative a lot just to show like you always it's always gonna be some negative to occur. How you gonna embrace it? You know what I'm saying? Like, is you just gonna let it knock you over, or you gonna be like, all right, damn, that wall just popped up. All right, I'm gonna climb that motherfucker. Cause you think about it, my ear, you're a motherfucker. Hit a wall. Yeah. That wall gonna come. Mm -hmm. So it's all about how you prepare when that wall hit. You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna suffer when that wall hit, or you gonna. <laughs> Step on and manage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what type of questions they asking you? What type of questions they asking you about your rap career and in the streets? Am I taking this serious now? Cause, you know, nigga played ball, you know what I'm saying? Ball was a nigga love, you know what I'm saying? Music. It always been a battle with me with the music and ball, you know what I'm saying? It's been like I love music because I can sit up there, I can hear a song, I can be listening to these niggas' album and pick the songs out before they even hit the radio and shit and be correct, you know what I'm saying, 80% of the time. So I'm like, okay, I got an ear for music and I, I basically know what the genre want and what people really be into, you know what I'm saying. At the same time, I understand how these niggas doing it, you know what I'm saying, but... I ain't trying to fabricate it like that. I'm trying to keep it authentic and bring my personality to this shit. Okay, cool. That's what's up right there. Original. Niggas ain't coming like that. Thanks. For real. So what can you use to help your crap? Your, uh... What can you use to help your rap career advance? My, I feel like what I can use to help my rap career advance. Shit, more fans. <laughs> more people just, my, hearing out a nigga, my. I'm really speaking on my, uh, from a, a, a street athlete perspective. You know, a nigga that is really having to Live the double life, you know what I'm saying? You trying to be out here with your guys, providing for your family because you know you, your family coming from the mud. At the same time, you got to keep this good boy clean image. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit be baffling in me. Like you get mad at a nigga, you love him while he hooping, doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His numbers and he, oh yeah, he putting on in his own ass. That, that light hit him in what's really been helping him survive come out now you want to bash him for it so I'm really trying to speak for all the niggas that, that got caught up that had their career you know what I'm saying was on their way and you know what I'm saying life situations you know what I'm saying so I'm just trying to put it out there like because what you was sent here for cause I feel like I was sent here to play basketball on some shit cause nigga was cold still is cold tell nigga ass up right now yeah. what you mean <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah. but on some shit man I know I was supposed to have at least a good 5 to 10 years I'd say 5 to 7 you know what I'm saying but years in the league but you know what I'm saying I feel like I'm net talented but you know what I'm saying my life situations and the choices I made you know what I'm saying so I'm just trying to speak for them that have been in that situation and preach to the kids like you know what I'm saying some of the choices I made was fucked up don't make them choices 
You know what I'm saying? And everything that you do bad, don't do it just because, you know what I'm saying? Do it for a real reason. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying do bad, but if you if that's your only way to survive and eat, then shoot. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, the man upstairs know what you're doing before he ain't gonna charge it to you like that, bro. Jack for forgiveness and move on. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Shoot, but hey, you gotta get out of your lives. Hey. Shoot. So how can you use your passion to help others? I feel like I can use my passion to help others because I'm a I'm really a people's person. I just analyze first everything, you know what I'm saying? And uh I always look for the good, and then you know the negative gonna show. But I always look for the good in a person, and really try to see where a person mind is. So I feel like me doing this to help me reach out to the folks like they 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 not giving a chance. They not trying to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They instantly, my you whack, you whack. My a bunch of the motherfuckers was whack at first, but look at these niggas now. You know what I'm saying? Just my really trying to teach motherfuckers just stay to your craft, whatever your craft is. You know what I'm saying? If you the cameraman, be the best cameraman. Like snap and approve your name. Don't let your name be mud because motherfuckers fuck over you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to. Prove through me to everybody, like my issue. I ain't my attitude ain't changed, and motherfuckers done fucked up with me a lot of times. But this how I do. I handle it accordingly. My if you fucked up with me, big, it's a big retaliation. If it's a little fuck up with me, then shoot, that's on you, my you. At the end of the day, every time you see me, you gonna feel some type of way, cause you know that I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ain't no. Trying to show where I play macho shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just really awesome. My respect me as a man, I respect you. Straight up. Yeah. I got kids. I'm yeah. trying to go home. I wanna watch them grow up. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like niggas don't understand your fans somewhat just like your kids. You know what I'm saying? So Raise these folks how you raise y'all kids. Raise raise these folks how you want it to be raised. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I try to preach through my message. You know what I'm saying? Straight positive. The fuck the negative. Shit on the negative. You know what I'm saying? And have fun and shit. No. If you do it crazily, have fun going to crazy. Understand the consequences, but shit. You feel good about it? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm saying, yeah. That way. <laughs> that way. For real. <laughs> man, look, I'm gonna hop a little bit off subject, man. Okay. So, man, look. I heard, man, you know, in the hood, in the mind, you know what I'm saying? Hood, that nigga, man. What's up? I wanna, I wanna know about your real. Tell me about your real, man, you know what I'm saying? What it is. Tell me, man, about. About the days in the hood, man. You boys in the hood, man. Well, yeah, Tell me about the sun, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, everybody know me, like, yeah. Everybody that's in the inner circle and the in the mound that's been around me, grew up with me. You know what I'm saying? The whole hood, they know me as like little Leon. You know what I'm saying? Little hood. You know what I'm saying? Little hooligan. You know what I'm saying? I was just. My grandma sold bread and donuts. Everybody knew my grandma, you know what I'm saying? My grandma was a big name in the hood. So my whole family always had a name in the hood, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know how that saying go? Your ancestors, who they were, trinkle down on you. So, you know what I'm saying? Trinkle down on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? The nigga was just trying, like I said, Mom, moms and pops held a nigga up in church and shit. 
it was great, you know what I'm saying? Because they taught me how to be spiritual, you know what I'm saying? They taught me into the own spirit. But at the same time, man, the streets taught me how to survive and, you know what I'm saying, how to eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How to manifest, how to teach, how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? Not taking from my pop and pops taught me how to be a man, but you know, it's two ways to everything. So, but uh, going back, like, so I'm trying to say without saying, cause my I don't know if cases still open pending or what. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, go out and yeah, do you know Yeah, but I always been everybody knew me as my little tall Leon, my uh big daddy, OGs call me six nine. You know what I'm saying? You know the tall tree, big ticket. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that was always on some hoop shit. But I always got money too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was at a joke, you know what I'm saying? Who was it? You know what I'm saying? It's just all about how you finesse to your getting. And I was getting. And I ain't. A nigga can't never tell you, say I sold them a bad product ever. Never. You can't. They own my. If a nigga told you that shit, they lying, bro. My name always been A1. <sighs> all my shit. You know, I, I ain't, I ain't, I can't, I can't spend <laughs> if it's beverage, bro. Cause I gotta make my money, man. I need my name to be good. I, ain't, I can't be out here charging these folks. You know what I'm saying? Then bringing in bed or have them. Why? Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. Nah, when they say my hood, they oh yeah, 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 yeah. That way. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, straight like this. Yeah, B spot. That's the block. Yo. So man, you know what I'm saying? What? I'm trying to see what I'm going to be. Alright, so I want to hop on the network. The branch. I'm, I want to ask you, you know what I'm saying? How can you build? How can you build your legacy? Well, I feel like right now, with the steps that I'm taking, everything's on the up and up. A lot of business partners reaching out to me now. They, they been seeing my vision. They was just, you know what I'm saying, trying to see what I was going to do. Because, you know what I'm saying, nigga played ball overseas. So they like, man, is you going to hoop? Or is you going through the music, you know what I'm saying, through this business, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, we ain't giving up on you, we just going to wait till you get serious, so they see how serious I am about it now, and how, shit, I'm going all out, and mine, they said, so, let's roll, so, you know what I'm saying, it's like, that on that, like, going forward, so the brand going to be so fat, because, it's gonna be open to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no discrimination because we all about loyalty and trust. You break them, then we know you ain't us. You know what I'm saying? We let it be. Now you you break it the wrong way, then my mo my may the Lord be with you. But you know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real.